A big question arising today with our society is, are we addicted to our cell phones or technology? Um, people are really starting to say that it's hindering our communication skills and our ability to face conflict because you can sit there and instantly send somebody a text message if you're mad at them or worried about them or anything. You can just sit there and call them or whatever. You don't sit there face-to-face -face and talk to them about it or talk out your problems or any of that. Um, how many times a day do you look around when people are at dinner and both of them are on their phones with their faces lit up by their phone light, playing games, tweeting, sending text messages to other people who aren't even there or matter, emailing, any of that, and it's just completely unnecessary. All of that can wait, and they're just not conversing. There's no actual conversation anymore. And phones aren't even just a source of communication. They're the place that people first hear in news and hear about crisis. And it's not even just right where you are. It's across the world, across the country. And it's crazy and mind-boggling that instantly, you know, you can Google an event that you hear about that day and it'll say, this article was updated three minutes ago. It's a full article with videos, pictures, interviews, the full detailed description of what happened three minutes ago. Like, it's crazy. And although this can be a really good thing because we know what's going on instantly and we're not behind on any of that stuff, it's so weird that we can do that. And just... It doesn't seem natural that we're able to know what's happening halfway across the world right when it happens, when it has nothing to do with us, doesn't affect us at all, and it's not even culturally related to us, but we already know about it. Um, but can people really be addicted to using it? Um, our social media, our use of social media and apps and all of that stuff are choices. We choose to have social media accounts, we choose to text people all the time, but the, as like more and more of these types of things form, more social media apps or networks form, more and more people are like, well, I want to be in the loop, I want to know what's going on, I want to be able to talk to everybody instantly too, and it's just making people more prone to wanting to be in the loop with friends and family and current events seeing pictures of people that you haven't seen in forever. You get to talk to people that you went to high school with that you think you would never talk to again. And it's just it's just an internet, like the way that the internet can be seen is just a web. Everything is just connected all the time. And you can find this and you can Google that all, anywhere. You can find out anything. And um, it's also becoming a place of advertisement like for companies you can go and scroll through Twitter or Instagram and you just see little pops of advertising and stuff and people are making money off of this now and people are becoming Vine famous or YouTube famous <coughs> and they're being known through the internet and people are just sitting there behind their computers and through their phones or iPads or whatever you have and just looking at stuff and even books you like have on a computer now you don't even a lot of people don't even read an actual book anymore and it's so weird that everything is just becoming so blank now there's not as much versatility it seems like because everyone has the same things going on everyone's on the same social networks and everything no one's passing by and smelling the roses as people would say and it's honestly kind of scary because you don't realize how much you really appreciate that until you lose your phone or it dies and you have no other choice than to pay attention to what's going on around you. Um, I definitely agree that technology has hindered our society and our social skills and our abilities to communicate, but technology can also be very helpful and very positive and help us know things instantaneously, but we just can't let it take over and we can't let things go too far with it because that's when we really have to draw the line.